Hi there, I'm Dr. Paul Grigsby from the University of Warwick. Welcome to Ludford on a bit of a breezy and um, showery day here in July 2021. I'm here today with people from the Warwick Manufacturing Group and from the Herbert Gallery in Coventry. We're looking at some of the artifacts, we're taking them out of the cases, we're doing laser scans and photogrammetry. With these we'll be able to create 3D images online which you'll be able to sort of turn around and have a look at in ways that you won't be able to do in the museum itself. We'll also be producing 3D prints of some of the objects which we'll be adding to our artifact boxes which we'll be taking into local Coventry schools and hopefully beyond into sort of further schools into Warwickshire. It's scanning absolutely fine. Yeah, it's good. Nice surface. So laser scanning involves a repeated scanning of an object to create a 3D image built up from each separate scan. Here members of WMG are scanning a finial bowl from Lunt Fort. Finial is just a name for the point in the centre of the bowl. Nice. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. So these scanners are really good at picking up most surfaces. The only surfaces they struggle to pick up are sort of like really shiny stuff, sort of like metallic chrome. Mm. So any swords would probably be the hardest part if they were super shiny, but... Uh, they typically are. <laughs> Rust and bolts and metal. And glass is difficult as well, is it? Is yeah, it yeah, anything reflective, yeah. is it? Yeah. Refle it's reflective and, and translucent. Um, so what we're doing again, every time we do a new scan, is we're pre-scanning the environment, it, everything we want to capture. And this is capture, capturing like the generic ge geometry of the artifact. Yeah. And then does it add sort of layers of detail onto that preliminary? Then, yeah, basically all it is basically is it, it just identifies the workspace you want, you want to work in. So when you're scanning something, and you look on the laptop, it's in the right yeah. orientation. Here the team are scanning a greyware pot, again uncovered at Lunt Fort. Around the widest part of the pot, there's an intricate crosshats design, and we're hoping that the 3D scanning will bring this out. As you can see, the multiple scans build up the final 3D picture and we have to make sure that we scan the entire surface to get a complete image for 3D printing. I'm just missing there's like an inside surface. I can capture just that start of it. Amongst the objects that we scanned, here's a Roman patera, a little frying pan. And there's also a belt buckle. It's intriguing to think that the original owners of these objects had no idea what would be happening to them almost 2,000 years later. Then what we'll do is we'll remove all of this, all of this floor space here, and then with the other scan, we'll merge yeah, them both I together. Details, nice. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? The idea is that we have the the camera set static and basically just rotate by a small increment each time and take an image, and then in essence. Um, do that for like several different, maybe three different directions all the way around and then that's it basically, then we can reconstruct that into an object using a handy Agisoft software that we have back in the office. So. so as I'm sure you've seen before, simple procedure, I, and you know, I guess how we went through before. So what we're going to do is probably take about 30 or so images, just around probably like 12 at this angle, so 
angle like that, 12 yeah. high angle, 12 very low angle. Yeah. Seem good? Right.